Here is a demonstration on how to make your own ball lens magnifier. All you need are glass balls. Here I have three sizes of glass balls. You need some tech adhesive and perhaps some specimen. Here I have taken some flower pots and two ends here. And you need your smartphone with the camera function. This video shows how to fix the ball lens to your camera lens. Uh, over here, it is secured by the tech adhesive. This blue box here represents your phone camera. The camera lens is here and you attach the ball lens and this is where you place your specimen. So you just bring your phone towards the specimen. This is a cactus plant. This is a digital zoom in photo using my camera. And here I've used the 6mm diameter ball lens. These are the fine features at the base of those needles of the cactus plant. I've added a 12mm diameter glass ball. These are the pictures taken of the flower pots and the end. These pictures are taken using the 8mm ball lens attachment. Next, we have the 6mm diameter ball lens. And finally, we have the 4mm diameter ball lens. From these photos, you can see that the larger diameter ball lens gives a larger depth of view. The largest magnification is obtained using the smallest diameter ball lens. However, you do not get that large depth of view. To make an estimate of the magnification, here the background photo is the image of the millimeter scale of a ruler taken using the 8mm diameter ball lens attachment. Without the attachment and without digital zoom in, we get the actual scale which is overlaid here. With the 8mm diameter ball lens, we image the pixels of my laptop display screen. And you can see the three colored pixels, red, green, and blue. And this is roughly the scale of four pixels, which is equivalent to one mm based on this diagram. Next, we use the six mm diameter ball lens, and you can see that the distance of one mm scale lines are wider over here. Using this ball lens attachment, I took another picture of the pixels of my computer screen. Again, this length here matches about 4 pixels. Using the 4mm diameter ball lens, the scale becomes larger. And here, the image of the pixels look larger. With the 1mm scale here, again it measures 4 pixels. What we can conclude from this is, as the diameter of the ball lens decreases, the magnification increases. So making a rough estimate that this is 1 mm and without the ball lens and without digital zoom in, it measures about um, 8 mm. So that's about 8 times magnification. Using the same method, this measures about 10.5 times and with a 4 mm diameter ball lens, it measures about 15.5 times. For each RGB pixel cell, from these measurements, we get a rough estimate of 0.25 mm by 0.25 mm. Well, let's do a check on this. My computer is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330S and the resolution of the display screen is 1366 by 768 pixels. The measured size 
of the screen is roughly 344 mm by 193 mm. So from these values, we then get the dimension of each pixel and that's about 0.25 mm by 0.25 mm and this matches what we have seen in the images. Let's look at the RGB color model. It is an additive color model whereby there are three primary colors which is red, green and blue and these colors are added in different proportions to create the different shades. This is red and the digital number assigned to red is 255, green is 0, blue is 0. If you look at the pixels, only the red pixels are lit. This is green. Red is set at 0, green at 255 and blue is set at 0. And over here, only the green pixels light up. This is blue, whereby the red and the green are switched off and only the blue remains. And as you can see, only the blue pixels are lighted up. Those were the three primary colors. In order to create other colors, then we need to add them in different proportions. Here we have yellow, whereby we have added red and green. And you can see the red and the green pixels lighting up but not the blue next cyan and this is a mixture of green and blue so the green and the blue pixels light up and this is magenta which is made up of red and blue green is shut off here the green pixel is off next we mix three colors, the full range of red, green and blue, set all of them to the highest digital value and we get white screen as can be seen in the background of this page here. And looking at the pixels, all three colored pixels light up. And when it's black, it is turning off all the three primary colors. As you can see here, they are all darkened. So with this, I hope you understand how this additive color model works. How we can create the different shades of colors